Number eight, letter A. At what temperature do the Fahrenheit and Celsius scales have the same numerical value? All right. So basically what they're saying is at what temperature is Fahrenheit equal to Celsius? That's really what they're saying. So basically we're saying we want to know when the Fahrenheit temperature equals a Celsius temperature. Okay. Now we have an equation that does that relates these two. We realize that the Celsius temperature is equal to five ninths. All right. That of the Fahrenheit temperature minus 32. So if I want to, right, I have two relationships here. I got that the Fahrenheit has to equal the Celsius, and now I have that the Celsius is equal to 5 ninths that of the Fahrenheit temperature minus 32. So I can just do a simple substitution now. Right, I can plug now C in for F because of this relationship that F is equal to C. So let's do that. So we now have C is equal to 5 ninths multiplied by C minus 32. And now just solve this for C. So how do we do that? We'll distribute the 5 ninths. So we got 5 ninths C minus then 5 ninths times 32. So 5 ninths times 32. So it's about 17.8 or so, right? 17.8. And now uh, let's see. Let's subtract this on over. All right. So let's subtract the 5 ninths on over. So when we do that, right, subtract 5 ninths C, you subtract the 5 ninths C. Now remember, there's a coefficient of 1 here, so when you do the math, it's 1 minus 5 ninths, okay? So 1 minus 5 ninths. So we get a decimal value of about, and I mean, I, I guess I should keep this fractional. This is going to be, you know, 4 ninths, okay? 4 ninths C. And that's then equal to negative 17.8. And now I want to find C. So take, basically, that negative 17.8, negative 17.8, and then multiply it by 9 over 4. So this tells us now that the Celsius temperature will be negative 40.05. Or just about negative 40. All right, negative 40. So when the Celsius temperature is negative 40, the Fahrenheit temperature will be the same. And you can go back and kind of show that to yourself. Plug in negative 40 here for F and see what you get. Right, so negative 40 minus 32 multiplied by 5 ninths and look at and and look at what we have there right we have the same thing negative 40 all right so that would be the answer for letter a okay let me just move this over a little bit just creating a little more space now moving on to letter b what is it asking it says at what temperature do the fahrenheit and kelvin scales have the same numerical value so again we're going to approach this the same way f has to equal k the problem, though, is that we don't have a formula now that relates these two variables to one another. So let's go hunting for one. So here is a, an equation that relates Kelvin to Celsius. And then what we can do from here, 273.15, is we can then find a formula that relates Celsius to Fahrenheit. right? And we know that already up here. And it's already solved for Celsius, as we realize. So we can just take this value and plug it on in for C. So now we have the Kelvin temperature being equal to then 5 ninths uh, multiplied then by the Fahrenheit temperature minus 32, minus 32, plus then the 273.15. Not minus, I, I think I said minus, but plus. Um, so now what we, all we need to do now is do the same thing, right? F is equal to K, so you can choose what you want to plug in for what, doesn't matter. I'm going to choose to plug in K for F. So this is 5 ninths n times k minus 32 plus then the 273.15. Now just do some algebra. So this is k is equal to 5 ninths, 5 ninths uh, k minus then, right? That's the same value we found over here, minus the 17.8 plus then the 273.15. All right, so I'm going to combine these two terms. I'm also going to subtract the 5 ninths k on over, so we realize we get a very similar value before. 4 ninths now, 4 ninths k, will then be equal to, so take the negative, uh, let me just get the exact value, hold on one second, that negative, did I get that exact value before? No. So sorry, one second, just bear with me. All right. So let's just, uh, so we'll do the 5 over 9 times 32. 5 over 9 times 32. And that's a negative value. All right. And then negative. 
and then simply add to that the 273.15. So we get a value of about 255.4 or so, right? This is 255.4-ish. Solve for K, you gotta multiply both sides by 9 fourths, so take that 255, multiply it by nine over four, and we get a value of 575 or so, right? So 575. So when Kelvin is about 575, the Fahrenheit temperature will also be the same. And you can go back and plug it in and, and check that. All right, guys. So thanks so much for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time.